Hi, I'm Kyle from The Distilled Man, and today we're gonna to talk about daily habits that can improve your confidence and your mood. You ever had one of those days where it feels like your mojo has just left the building? You know, it's easy to blame fluctuations in confidence on chance or on the unpredictability of the day's events. But the truth is, probably 75% of what you experience in a given day comes down to your own habits. Those unconscious patterns that you've developed that govern the rhythms of your day, your mood, your energy level, and even your overall confidence. The good news is, once you are conscious of that, you can actually develop new habits that set you up for success. Here are five daily habits you can develop to boost your confidence and improve your mood. Real quick, I just wanted to give a big thanks to Tiege Hanley for sponsoring this video and for supporting The Distilled Man. Number one, make morning quiet time non-negotiable. I used to hate mornings with a passion. I would hit snooze a bunch of times and then finally I would sort of jerk out of bed like an angry zombie. I'd speed through my shower, barely getting clean, hating every moment. Then after throwing my clothes on with wet, barely combed hair, I'd race into the kitchen grab a travel mug of coffee and, and some toast that I would eat on my commute. And the worst part was every morning I had this constant stream of negative self-talk, basically thoughts about being critical of myself, you know, anxiety about and stress about work, and just general unease about what was gonna happen that day. Basically mornings were my nemesis. But then after a few years of this pattern, I had a realization, mornings didn't suck. I sucked at mornings. Now, every morning I wake up without hitting the snooze button. I have a little stretch. I shuffle into the kitchen, grab my coffee, make it a point not to check my email or watch TV or even the news at that point. I go and plop myself down on my leather recliner with a book and I read for about 30 minutes while sipping my coffee. Then after reading, I do some exercise, shower, and get ready for the day. I found that by easing into the day like this and just focusing my attention on a, a book for the first 30 minutes of the day really helped eliminate that mental chatter. And also it helped keep the stress of the day from creeping in before I was really ready to deal with it. And of course you don't have to read. I mean, you may find some other you know quiet time activity in the morning that you prefer. You, know, you could meditate, uh, you could do uh, daily affirmations. You could do positive visualization for the day. Once you develop the habit of giving yourself quiet time in the morning and make it something that you do no matter what, uh, no matter what you have going on that day, you'll be amazed at, at how much it will improve your mood, improve your sort of outlook on the day and your overall confidence. Number two, establish a regular skincare routine. As guys, sometimes we have this flawed notion that you know, as long as we shave and occasionally hose ourselves off with soap and water and smear some product in our hair that our grooming duties are, are complete. But I'll tell you, start taking care of your skin regularly and you'll definitely notice a difference in your overall confidence and outlook. And until recently, I was pretty good about you know, washing my face with a cleanser and maybe occasionally using a daily moisturizer, but I never really had a, a regular skincare routine. But last month I had a chance to try a new skincare line for men called Tiege Hanley. And I wasn't really sure what to expect, honestly, um, but I have to say after using the products every day for the last 30 days, I'm actually really impressed. And I especially like that it's um, sort of an all-in-one skincare system. There's the Daily Cleanser, there's the AMPM Firming Serum, then there's the AMPM Eye Cream, there's the Morning Facial Moisturizer, then there's the Bedtime Facial Moisturizer, and then finally there's the Exfoliating Scrub. On some level, you probably know you need to do all these things for your skin. I mean, cleanse, moisturize, exfoliate, these are all good things. But if you don't know what you're doing, it's kind of hard to put together your own sort of uh, skincare regimen. I used to be really sporadic with my skincare, but now that I'm using Tiege Hanley, the product line actually helps create a structure for my grooming. In the morning, I just use the facial wash in the shower, and then I get out, and after drying off, I use this super serum on my face, and then add the eye cream, and then finally top it off with uh, the, the, the daily moisturizer with SPF. Then in the evening, I you know use the facial wash again before bed, dry my face off, add the super serum, add the eye cream under my eyes, and then finally top it off with the evening moisturizer. And the scrub I just use twice a week. I have it in the shower um, when I remember to use it. it. Sounds like a lot, but honestly, it only takes me a couple minutes in the morning and a couple minutes in the evening, and it's a no-brainer. So I've actually started to enjoy the routine. And I've seen an improvement in my skin. I, it just seems more hydrated, healthier and has more of a glow overall. And I guess it really shouldn't be a surprise because I've made a habit of using the regimen every day. 
this is really the best I've ever taken care of my skin. T. Shanley is actually surprisingly affordable too. Um, since it's only available online, they're able to sort of cut out the middleman and offer really higher quality products at an amazing price. If you're interested in experiencing Tiege Hanley, I've got a promo code you can use. It'll save you some money on your first order. And I'll go ahead and leave that, um, that promo code in the description below. Number three, incorporate physical activity throughout your day. Now, you've, of course, you've heard it before. Exercise is good for you. It helps improve your overall health. It help, helps improve your mood, help, helps improve your energy level, all these things. If you aren't in the habit of you know, exercising regularly, it can be really, really hard to start. I, I get that. But one thing that can really help and helped me is to actually fundamentally change um, your motivation for exercise and shift it more towards the immediate feeling and benefits that you get from it as opposed to thinking about the long-term benefits. I did a whole video on this, so I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you wanna check it out. But the thing is, hitting the gym and working out is not enough. You have to stay active throughout the day. There was a recent study that showed that even if you exercise regularly, if you're sedentary for most of the day, as in you, know, you have an office job, you're still at increased risk of developing a disease or a condition that might kill you prematurely. And one of the ways to fix this is to find ways to deconvenience your life. Think about all the wonderful modern conveniences that exist these days. We used to have to get up to change the TV channel, but now we slouch in our couches with our remote controls. At work, instead of walking down the hall or going to another department to tell someone something in person, we might send an IM or an email. And now instead of walking into a bookstore, we go on amazon.com and get our books and a lot of other things delivered right to our door so we never actually have to walk outside. All of these things are really helpful, but the end result is that we don't move around as much. So you've got to consciously find ways to be more active throughout the day. You know, walk down the hall to go talk to your coworker instead of sending an email. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Maybe stand up and walk around while you're talking on your phone. And we're so conditioned to look for shortcuts, maybe the next time you're going somewhere on foot, you should look for a long cut. Or if you're going to a store, park further away in the parking lot. All these little things can help you move more throughout the day. By staying more active throughout the day, you get the long-term benefits of exercise in terms of overall health, but you also get the immediate gratification of an elevated mood, clearer thinking, and just a better outlook on the whole day. Number four, do a daily mind dump to reset your mental cache. Have you ever noticed when you're trying to focus and concentrate on something, often your mind will just sort of go to something else, something that you have to do. It might be something completely unrelated, like remembering to renew your car registration in a month. Is that urgent? Not even close, but still your brain is devoting valuable RAM to it when you need all the processing power you can muster for the, the task at hand. When you have to-do items floating around in your head, it takes up mental energy. Even if you're not thinking about that thing consciously, I think the brain is bothered by that loose end, that, you know, that action that still needs to be taken. Or more often than not, the fact that you haven't figured out what next action needs to happen yet. But if you can capture your to-dos and other stray thoughts that might be weighing you down, it can be tremendously freeing. At the end of the day, or maybe at the beginning, make it a habit of jotting down all the little to-dos and thoughts and worries that might be floating around in your head. And the tools you use are totally up to you. You, you, know, you can even use just a regular journal, but for me, I use a combination of Evernote for you know, things that are more content-based that I wanna refer back to, Trello for action items that are just really straightforward, and finally, Google Calendar for more event-based reminders. Part of capturing stuff too is to make sure that you schedule time, maybe once a week, to actually go through those items, evaluate them, and make decisions on how and when you're gonna do them and in what priority. I know that sounds straightforward for things like wash the dog and pay the power bill, but it's often the things that are the most nebulous, you know, where you don't know what the next action is, that actually zap the most mental energy. For those, I recommend scheduling a worry session. So actually set up time on your calendar to devote your undivided attention to the issue, brainstorm on possible solutions and next steps, and then figure out what you're gonna do next. And the beauty of this approach is that it, it sort of focuses all your potential fear and anxiety about this thing into a discrete time period, as opposed to it just having this general unease that creeps into your entire day or your week. So if it does pop up in your consciousness, you can say, ah, oh, nope, not gonna worry about that. I've got something scheduled Tuesday 1 p.m. and we're gonna tackle it and figure out next steps. Even if there are no to-do items that you need to write down, sometimes just writing down your thoughts, especially if they're upsetting or stressful, 
it can really do wonders in terms of clearing your head, making you feel more focused and better overall. Studies have shown that writing down your thoughts can actually even improve your immune system and surprisingly even improve uh, critical measures of disease in really ill patients. So writing down your thoughts can actually improve your health. And finally, number five, recognize that a full night's sleep gives you superpowers. Do you ever come across those type A people who almost wear it like a badge of pride that they work all the time and basically never get any sleep? They may be working a lot, but are they actually producing more because of it? Probably not. More and more productivity experts are recognizing that working more is not the answer. In their fabulous book, uh, The Power of Full Engagement, Tony Schwartz and Jim Lohr argue that managing energy, not time, is the key to high performance and personal renewal. If you consistently get less sleep than you need, you're basically asking your body to perform under suboptimal conditions. And so you're essentially setting yourself up for failure even before you begin. It's becoming more and more widely accepted that you get the most creative, most impactful, and most meaningful work done when you can achieve a state of flow. That's that state where you are totally immersed in what you're doing in the moment. You actually forget about time and space and you actually have a sense of renewal from what you're doing instead of feeling tired. I don't know about you, but when I'm running on less sleep, I have a lot harder time concentrating. Flow is nowhere to be seen. It's just crankiness and everything is just, it just seems harder than it needs to be. But when I get a full night's sleep, I feel rested. So I'm thinking more clearly, I'm thinking more positively, and I'm thinking more resourcefully. So I feel like I can tackle anything. Building the habit of getting a full night's rest all the time is easier said than done, especially if you have a, you know, a variable schedule. But in general, it helps to have a specific bedtime goal each night factoring in the assumption that you'll probably need another hour after that to actually fall asleep. It also helps if you can start minimizing screen time from TV or your phone or tablet or whatever uh, a few hours before you go to bed and also start dimming the lights to give your body the signal that it's time to wind down. You only have one body, so if you're not letting yourself recharge with a full night's rest, you're, no matter what you're trying to do, you're setting your whole day up to be less than. A full night's sleep really is a superpower, and if you can build the habit of always getting sufficient rest, it can actually help level up everything else that you do. Okay, I know this was a lot to take in at once, and in general, when you're developing habits, you wanna start small, not you know bite off more than you can chew at once. So as a starting point, I'd recommend first getting your morning routine set up, and really getting that going, and then also setting up your skincare regimen. And if you are interested in Tiege Hanley, I've got that promo code for you, save you a little bit of money, I'll put that in the description below. Don't forget, if you like this video, please give it the old thumbs up below. And let me know in the comments what other types of videos you guys want to see. I always love hearing from you guys. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.